Yo, what's going on everyone? My name's Kyle, I also go by Bundo, and today I present to you all the Attack on Titan class setup in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I came up with this fun little idea based on YouTuber Jimmy Chaos's old Black Ops 2 series where he'd like make all these like class setups based on various action movie icons and famous cartoons. Um, he had stuff ranging from like Batman to like James Bond and it was overall I thought like a super fun idea. And I just found it interesting how like not many YouTubers today have sort of created a similar series, especially with this game and like how uh, it's um, it has like one of the most versatile creative class systems in the Call of Duty series. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd do my own version of this and put like my own spin on it with the stuff that I watch. Um, yeah, so before I begin talking about this class setup, I should mention that there will be some spoiler content regarding uh, stuff from Seasons 3 and 4, uh, when I talk about what kind of weaponry the military had within the walls. Uh, so if you don't want to be spoiled, um, this is your warning, feel free to click away from the video. Alright, so let's get into this class setup. So, uh, first off, this class is based on the weaponry uh, the military within the walls had access to before they had contact with um, uh, Marley and Army and their weaponry. So for my primary, I've got the Car 98, um, the closest thing I could get to the flintlock rifles that the military had. And, um, yeah, I've only got like one attachment on it, uh, FMJ, hopefully should <laughs> reduce hit markers in-game. The catch with this is that um, in order to, for me to stay true to like the mechanics of it, um, the challenge with using the Car 98 in this class is that you can only fire off one bullet before you have to reload. Um, since that's sort of how like flintlock rifles work, you'd, you'd fill the rifle with gunpowder, use flint to light the powder, and then fire the shot, and then you'd have to reload after shooting that shot. Um, <laughs> that was kind of like a pain on the ass to do. Um, in the online gameplay, but um, it's also pretty fun. Um, as for my secondary, um, you know I got to roll with the dual Kodachis, um, which represent the ultra hard steel swords that the scouts carried in their ODM gear. I spent like the last like, couple of days like grinding for these things just so I could make this video. Um, but anywho, and then uh, for my perks, uh, I just went with um, what I thought best described the scouts' characteristics. Uh, Went with double time for the first one since it sort of represents like the agility of the scouts and their ODM gear. Uh, high alert, obviously, got to be on watch for those titans. And then uh, I got battle hardened for perk three since the scouts have been through some shit. You know, you know. Um, but yeah, and then um, for the lethal equipped, I have C4 because the military did have the ability to make explosives as seen in the battle against Rod Race and then later on uh, with the development of the Thunder Spears. And then for my tactical I have the smoke grenade equipped since the military also had access to these as seen in the battle against the Beast Titan and when Aaron went to plug Walt Rose with the boulder. And that's sort of it for this class. Um, I also for uh, I also as a bonus equip the cruise missile. Um, on as a kill streak since those like kind of reminded me of the Thunder Spears in a way. And uh, for my field upgrade, I also have Dead Silence again with, because of the whole agility thing with the scouts. And then I uh, even went as far as like choosing operator that I think look most like the scouts. So I got uh, I got Charlie equipped and I got Cougar equipped. And Charlie, uh, the uniform she's got equipped right now is literally called the Scout. So so that's my reason for her. And then I mean Cougar will you know. Kruger, Mr. Kruger, Eric Kruger, yeah, you, you get it, you get it if you've seen it, if you know, you know, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, playing with this class, you really gotta pick and choose your fights, um, since you're only allowed to fire one shot with a car 98, before you either reload or switch to your blades and charge the opponent, and yeah, you just gotta use every tool at your disposal. Either way, this was a pretty fun challenge to say the least, and I didn't do too bad with it if I do say so myself. <laughs> Um, I, I really did feel like a scout on the battlefield out there, at least without all the grappling folks and scaling from building to building. I definitely did feel like the scout in the sense of like dying left and right though, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, feel free to give this challenge a try if you ever get bored of playing Modern Warfare the regular play and you're just looking for like a little switch up or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I figured I should talk about like the show as it is right now, but yeah, Season 4 is going totally crazy right now. 
I definitely feel, <laughs> I definitely feel for those who haven't like caught up to it or like haven't decided to watch it yet. I mean, if you, if you haven't and you're watching this, do it. It's, it's so good and just telling like the conflicts of like humanity and whatnot and like understanding the mentality behind like that and war and whatnot. Not, any, yeah, I'm not gonna d discuss about it too much with this, um, in this video, but uh, I will say that I'm really curious about like Aaron right now and like like that dude has been going through so much and to understand everything he does and like still like doing the things he did I'm like confused as to why like he's uh doing what he's doing I'm, I'm not gonna get into specifics but yeah anyways please don't by the way please don't spoil like anything in the comments I've already had my fill of like spoilers so just like just don't Please, <laughs> out of respect, for real. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all I really have to say about this class setup. Um, if you like this setup or just a big fan of like Attack on Titan overall, feel free to throw down a like and comment below who your favorite Attack on Titan character is. Um, I, I have a few up there, but like, um, um, personally, I really liked Erwin, not just because he was voiced by Daisuke Ono, who voices Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, my favorite Jojo, um, but also because of his character his, and like his story and his grounded in reality speeches, just overall just like a solid like leader figure. Um, but yeah, name your favorite character uh, below in the comments, I want to hear from y'all. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!